Interestingly enough, the Watertown South Side neighborhood is the only location or part of Watertown that's actually south of the Charles River, so we kind of use that as a neighborhood barrier. It's very interesting, it has four major arteries that feed into Watertown Square, causing much of the traffic in the area and annoyance to everybody. It's also a very convenient location. There's lots of little neighborhoods and businesses tucked away uh, on these arteries. Galen Street's your main one that heads right to the Mass Pike. Nonantum Road coming from the Brighton area. Then you have California Street and Watertown Street that also feed into the square. Um, originally, the Coolidge Tavern was located right where the trolley terminals are at Watertown Yard. And George Washington stayed there on uh, the 2nd of July in 1775, right before he took command of the Continental Army. Uh, Paul Revere's family lived for a year at the intersection of California and Watertown Street when they were kind of chased out of Boston when he was wanted by the British. So there's a lot of history in this area as well, um, but mostly it's just a great, convenient location if you live around here. You have a lot of public transportation from Watertown Yard, uh, direct lines to Boston, a lot of great condo complexes that offer a lot of amenities. I have other pages dedicated to that, uh, those specific associations, and uh, the convenience uh, proximity to Watertown Square. So that's a little bit about the south side. It's also where our office is located, right on the Newton Corner border, where there's a lot of other businesses and uh, property that you'll find of interest. But anyways, that's a little bit about the south side.